Huh? I'm back. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh god, this motherfucker. <laughs> and I got a bunch of shit on my mind. And I'm gonna unload it in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, this shirt was a little small, dude. When I ordered it, <laughs> I, I, I'm getting a little too fat for these larges. I'm gonna to start ordering extra large. So, <clears throat> I spent the last few years uh, of my social media life trying to figure out what it was I wanted to do because I was promoting myself as a visual artist. And so, I was trying to figure out the balance of keeping my personality there, uh, showing my art, also just the pure marketing side of things, trying to figure out the timing and the algorithms, of what people wanted to see, what colors Instagram AI robots wanted to see, uh, to see if I was marketable or whatever. And that was, man, honestly, I was over that shit pretty quick. And then it just kind of kept going because necessity of, of uh, promoting artwork. <clears throat> But I moved past that, and once I did move past that, I recognized that that part of my uh, trajectory was falling away. I had to admit, look, man, this is a new era. This past four years is no longer, and you need to figure out <clears throat> a strategy, a way to go forward that, that fulfilled you, me, and that fulfilled me, and also allow me to continue my art career. And honestly, what I should have done from the start is, is what I'm gonna be doing from here on out is, man, I am truly just gonna be me. When, when I say this, all this happened because I did a children's book and it was called A Chowder of Cats, it's on Amazon. And when I did that, it kind of changed the way that I thought I should come across as an artist to a small degree. I'm self-aware enough to know that I wasn't gonna uh, completely put myself aside and not be authentic, right? And I know the authentic word is so 10 years ago, but authenticity is fucking awesome, dude, and it always will be, it's timeless. So I'm figuring that out. I'm finding out that balance and moving forward, I'm gonna be, man, you guys are seriously going to really know the real me and I feel like that's good. I'm ready to lose a few followers because honestly, uh, clearly I've still got a few weeds in my garden that I am I am not mad about getting rid of, okay? And uh, I've been losing since 2020, and since being more honest, I have lost an ass load of followers, a bunch. And not just followers for artwork, you know, art following, the people interested in my work. Uh, I lost some friends like everybody did. And if <clears throat> 2020, taught me a lot of things and I'm sure it taught a lot of people a lot of things but one of those things was and the most important thing that I think I'm taking away from this is that uh, facts don't matter <laughs> what matters to people is uh, narratives <clears throat> and emotions that's what people want to believe in right now and that's just the truth. I don't. I don't care that there are knee-jerk reactions about that. That's some action right there. Sometimes them pigeons get it on, man. And sometimes hawks fly in here. So, uh, with that in mind, I'm not going to be spending my time anymore uh, going in and researching, collecting this data, so that I can have it all prepared and ready on my iPhone, or ready to print for someone, or ready to hand to someone. Uh, so that I can give them documents that they want to see from the people they want to see it from, right? The government approved technocratic uh, sources, the infallible uh, guard of, of, of holy doctors who, I'm not doing that because I would, I found out that I could do that. I could print out these documents. I could, you want the documents from the CDC? I'll bet you fucking do. Here it is. And consistently what I would get is is this reaction is something like this i don't really I, I don't really know how to describe it other than this is what it looked like to me yeah the, you know yeah not what do you mean just like no like that's that's what you were just asking for but 
I don't want to go too far down that that hole of, of psychology of why that is. I know why that is. I get it. <clears throat> but I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not, I'm not spending my time doing that fucking shit. I'm over it, Sharon. I'm seriously over it. Because it doesn't pay off. And here's another tip that if you want to hear it, I needed to hear it. I think everybody should hear this. You're not here to... <clears throat> I'm not here. You're not here to wake people up. That's not your job. It, it isn't. Just let it go. Just throw that sack off and just be like, I'm not carrying that anymore. I don't, I don't need to do that. I need to tend my own garden first and lead by example. And if you're doing that, the people who need to see it are going to see it. Share your truth verbally, but share it on your, in your own time. Share your truth in its time let it ferment let it do what it needs to do and then you share it and and if somebody sees it and, and i'm talking about share it online and leave it there <clears throat> in perpetuity for anyone to see whenever they need to see it leave it there it's not going to happen in, in little conversations i covered that in the last podcast i'm not going to cover it here that's just not going to happen it just it's more about synchronicity and, and knowing that truth will insist upon itself. It's its own force. It's gonna insist upon itself. It's going to be there in some way without you, without me. And, and I, I don't know where the fuck I picked that idea up, but I picked it up and I ran with it. Man, I really need to tell everybody the truth. I really need to get this shit out there. No, fuck it, man, I do, but I need to do it in my own time. And that's what we're doing now moving forward. And that's what these little vlogs are going to be about. They're going to back up the podcast because the podcasts are apparently going to take me fucking forever to make. So <clears throat> for now, I'm planning on working on that. But with that in mind, uh, I'm going to do these little vlogs to sort of be like in between material that hopefully can hype it up and get you interested. If you, you know, if you already like it, cool. If you don't know what it's about, come on over. I've only got one episode done so far, but uh, I'm building these first three episodes in a very methodical way so that we can walk a path together if you want to walk that path with me that's what we're gonna do if you don't you know that's why it's not for everybody this is for whoever wanted to hear it whoever needed to hear it and I want to finish it and what I came out here to do is to address the philosophy I think that's developing for me, it's, 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 it's an in-development philosophy. <clears throat> we don't speak, write, articulate nearly as deeply as we should. Not even close, man. We are so devolved in our communication skills. I have been recently just, I, have, I had stopped reading enough fiction we should all be reading more fiction in our lives. Research is great. Facts are great. History is great. Fiction will do wonders in so many parts of your life, okay? And I forgot that. I'm getting back on. That's where I'm headed. And reading a little more fiction and getting back into some of the, the, the mavericks that influenced me earlier in my life, like John Steinbeck, who I'm going to read from. He's a master. I get it. I know that he's good at what he did. But even like my my wife was telling me, you know, even reading for her, reading just old letters that people wrote to each other, the language they would she she was you know she reminded me of the fact that they could convey so much into they could into such a compact sentence, and I couldn't agree more. Like they elicit and paint imagery in your mind and connections of dots that you wouldn't have connected before because they're engaged in that creativity they're engaging that part of the mind so i'm going to read from steinbeck and not only does it back up what i'm talking about about connecting dots in your mind it connects a dot for me about what the next podcast is going to be about which is about media and I thought I was gonna take a certain direction with the media, but I think whatever I would have done was going to be um, a belabored point because so many other people have done it 
so much better than I could. I'm not gonna do that. I thought, what can you do with your lens that will get the point across? And it comes through this lens. The lens, and I'm just gonna say this, as someone who does art and has been involved in the art community for a lot of years of my life, man, and I am, you, art community, this is coming at you. You are a mouthpiece for the media and I am going to prove it. I'm not just gonna editorialize away and, and opine my, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna prove it with facts. Even though people don't like facts and I know I said that, I'm gonna prove it with facts. The whole podcast, one hour of fact building and case making will be dedicated to proving that point. You are a mouthpiece for the media and you have failed at your job as artists. I'm saying it. Gauntlet thrown down. I don't care. You can go look at my art as another artist and say, that dude's battery's dying. That dude's art sucks. Yeah, fuck you. I don't care what you think. That's fine. You can think my heart sucks. I don't give a shit. But I'm going to read this from Steinbeck real quick, and then I'm going to be done. At such a time, it seems natural and good to me to ask myself these questions. What do I believe in? What must I fight for, and what must I fight against? Our species is the only creative species, and it has only one creative instrument, the individual mind and spirit of a man. Nothing was ever created by two men. There are no good collaborations, whether in music, in art, in poetry, in mathematics, in philosophy. Once the miracle of creation has taken place, the group can build and extend it, but the group never invents anything. The preciousness lies in the lonely mind of a man. And now the forces marshaled around the concept of the group have declared a war of extermination on the preciousness, the mind of man. By disparagement, by starvation, by repressions, forced direction, and the stunning hammer blows of conditioning, the free roving mind is being pursued, roped, blunted, drugged. It is a sad suicidal course that our species seems to have taken. And this, I believe that the free exploring mind of the individual human is the most valuable thing in the world. And this I would fight for, the freedom of the mind to take any direction it wishes undirected. And this I must fight against. Any idea, religion, or government which limits or destroys the individual. This is what I am and this is what I'm about. I can understand why a system built on a pattern must try to destroy the free mind, for this is the one thing that which can by inspection destroy the system. Surely I can understand this and I hate it and I will fight against it to preserve the one thing that separates us from the uncreative beasts. You know what I'm talking about. If the glory can be killed, we're lost. <laughs>